Are we going up? Are we going down? Are we going to f***ing die? Guys, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about those things. I honestly am pretty certain that we're going to die eventually, so that one is clear. But regarding those first two ones, we're going to talk a little bit about that. I also added two positions on the dip on uh, Monday. And it's kind of funny that if you look at my previous video how you should feel like on the top of the bull market and you reverse engineer it this is exactly how you should feel on the bottom and um, i was certain that we're going to go lower with all the negative news with with the yen going down with war in iran it's crazy how it made me feel very negative price action on, on basically everything i felt my my guts are going to turn inside out but um, luckily i managed to buy those coins on a dip i reduced one of my positions on this dip i don't know if i did a smart move but i reduced one made it into uh different ones so yeah we're going to talk i'm gonna mention this at the end of the video so guys smash the like button subscribe it's important for me so thank you and let's go <laughs> you want the dip? Too bad. You got to f*** you. <laughs> this Alex Becker tweeted this and I f***ing died. Honestly, guys, he tweeted this on uh, on Wednesday. Uh, Monday, we had a really big dip. Uh, everyone knows, like, we reached basically 49k. And basically, previous week was just really bad we had some hopium at the beginning and then all the basically uh, rest of the week we were just seeing as all the f price bled and we basically had a what 20 28 percent almost 29 percent uh, down on bitcoin which was crazy some altcoins got like obliterated 60 50 percent uh it's just so painful to watch and the most most painful was that it was just like slowly happening every day you had some hopium but then the scandal turned red later and red and red and we just had seriously like super panic sell-off in monday okay but let's do some fortune telling i think personally that was a dip because the way uh, the amount of fear we had in the market and how quickly we jumped back up i agree completely with the alex becker tweet that everyone wanted to uh, find some some still lower but it's not gonna happen it's not gonna be that easy at this point we have right now a bitcoin hovering around the 60k region 60 60k 62 i think we're gonna be like doing some chops because some people want too long some people want too short it's not going to be that easy at some point i think we might see a retracement to around 50 58k level this was would, would, that would be a perfect uh, thing with fib also that would take us out from the trend line so we would have you know we would break below the trend line again but that would be a fake out and then we would skyrocket that would be kind of perfect for me of course we might be just like break down hover here a little bit then go down and then pff, skyrocket i don't know this is my main scenario how i look at things why i think we're not gonna jump straight up just because the fear and greed index is jumping too fast if it's if i think if it's gonna jump too quickly to greed we're gonna see a dump because it's just not normal how quickly from extreme fear that we had on monday we're jumping basically to the middle of this uh, indicator so either we have to hover here around to create uncertainty a little bit more so uh, you know 60 62k like chop like that maybe a little bit lower but around this region or pump it up then price is close to this resistance and suddenly we also don't know if we're gonna bounce again from here or something i don't think really that we're gonna have a week down lower than 55k although that would be a perfect entry for for someone i just don't see that we have after we, what we've been through uh, we already have any more bearish news that are going to go with the price lower. of course like this video can all get old very 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 bad if if because everything can happen like we can have a f you know 
nuclear war tomorrow, for, as, as far as I know, like, and nothing is certain. But that's my bet. That's my bet. Either we chop or we or we go up, create even more uh, FOMO into the market. But then we might go down from here, just you know, because a lot of people were trying to chase this pump and longed into the resistance. Possible. So if you miss the bottom right now, uh, I think the best solution, of course, not a financial advice. Uh, this disclaimer is by the by the way at the end of the video because everyone is watching till the end. Um, I would DCA. I would DCA because buy a little bit here. See if price goes up. Okay, you already are up. Maybe buy a little bit after the breakout. But like, don't don't FOMO in. Don't FOMO in all what you have if you missed this bottom because at some point we we might go lower. You don't know. You, you never know. So buy a little bit here. Buy a little bit there. Buy a little bit there if we if we start to go lower and then you know if we go totally you know lower then sell everything. <laughs> Get the f out and just quit crypto. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think good times are coming. All right, guys. Regarding my gaming portfolio, nothing. Gaming and AI portfolio, not much has changed. Basically, I'm still. Um, I still hold only few tokens. I hold Beam. I hold Game Swift. Right now, they have a big burn, burn, uh, burn back. Uh, they are going to reduce their uh, fully diluted supply over like 30%. They bought from the seed round uh, for around $5 million. Tokens from seed investors, they're going to burn, which is awesome because that means that those tokens that were supposed to go into circulation in the future will not go. And also they are uh, reducing tokens from treasury, making the total supply going down for around uh, 30 40% uh, and that is going to be bullish basically from uh, 100 million to 40 million then it starts to look really okay for uh, inflation uh, in the bull run of a new project that is still doable and they have a lot of cool things on their way of course we, we have to see how how the blockchain uh, is going to perform uh, itself but this is game swift i treat it more like a black horse right now i hope they're gonna really recover. Risk to reward here is super big. Decimated, because I love Decimated. They're building like the coolest cyberpunk slash Potapo game that I've seen uh, so far uh, in the Web3 space. And the uh, team is super dedicated and know their shit. They, they have those, uh, they're living and breathing things like, you know, Blade Runner, uh, Cyberpunk, Mad Max. And, and, and you can see that in the game. Uh, they have all the cool influences, so. Um, definitely bullish for that one. Beam and Super. Uh, I'm not really Super because it's talking of Elliot Trades, Alex Becker. Uh, most of the big inf gaming influencers are shilling it. They have a solid community around it and um, cool game partnerships. So I see most of the people are going to flock here. Uh, also, Regarding the games, I hold only Prime because I love uh, their trading card game as well as the game that are going to introduce, which is called Colony. It's also kind of like with AI narrative. So basically, if you want to find out more, I'm I had the video. You can watch it here in the description on this. Regarding AI as well, not much has changed. I'm mostly bullish on a GPU narrative. All right, guys. Regarding project that I bought on this dip. First one is Ondo. Uh, first of all, uh, it got hit really hard with the price action. Went down to basically 50 cents. I managed to catch it around 55 cents uh, on this week down. And it's already ar around 77 cents. Uh, it's not that far from all time high, which was $1.50 basically. And I see the, the, the charts is pretty sexy from the purely chart perspective. I realized I need some diversification for different narratives in case there's another DeFi summer or something. I think uh, that Ondo is, is the play here. It has partnership with BlackRock, which is super bullish for me. And I also don't want to go too low on those uh, projects. I rather have my back into a project that already has kind of like proven it's it's new. Uh, it fits this, this narrative. It comes back. It has a community. It also has a pretty decent tokenomics. Those unlocks has a pretty solid vesting. They, they're like releasing 0.001 supply every now and then just slowly 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 unlocking uh, all the supply it's not you're not you're not gonna see like sudden inflation 
Um, so, you know, over course of years, everything will be unlocked, but basically till January 2029. That looks good. All right. And the last one is EVE AI, guys. Um, this is basically a small market cap project. So treat, tread carefully. And this is an AI bot that extract the information from Twitter space. So for example, there's a Twitter space and they're giving some alpha. This bot will give you basically like essentials from what happened on this Twitter space. So this tool might be very useful, especially for the market analysis or like research that might not those Twitter spaces take time, watch them, listen, the, listen to them and extract the alpha. It's, you know, it's time consuming because like, let's say that average Twitter space lasts 45 minutes. How many on a daily basis you can actually watch? AVI is supposed to make that super easy, which is actually pretty interesting. So um, with that market cap, I'm willing to uh, take a small gamble with this project. Also, team is constantly delivering uh, news and the number of holders is growing they launched in a, I would say not perfect market conditions in June we had the temporary like hype and then everything started to dump and they kind of recovered really quickly making this I don't know cup on handle kind of that I don't know but I aped in just remember this is not a financial advice and this can go to zero faster than I can say Bitcoin Did you? Like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. See ya.